You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and I am on another Dudley's art decorating kit. One I've never done before, one I have never seen before. And I've had this for probably a few years. I think I had this last year, but never got to it. Because it's an older kit. You see, it's a roller, like little rollers decorating kit. And it's from 2003. Dudley's Helpful Hints. Allow refrigerated colored eggs to dry before handling. Yes, handle colored eggs with dry clean hands. That's important. Young children should be supervised since this is a dye process. I would agree. Preparation. Use cooled, hard-boiled eggs. Cover work area with newspaper or wax paper. I will do that. Need each packet of, packet of dazzling color liquid packet. Wait. Need each packet of dazzling color liquid packet thoroughly. Carefully cut open with scissors. Pour one color into each section of the color dyed tray. Use one sponge roller for each color. Dip and roll sponge into liquid color to coat sponge evenly. Sponges can be rinsed with water to clean if necessary. Just squeeze out excess water before reapplying color. Hold the egg in one hand. Well, there you go. That's going to be a problem. Because I'm going to get Easter egg coloring on it. Apply color to the egg by moving the roller back and forth on the egg. It's like you're painting with a paint roller. You can sponge paint spots by dubbing, dabbing, dabbing color onto egg. Set the egg on the pink ring to dry. All right, so pink ring, got that. They're in the packaging. Here, I'll tell you what, let's get it out. And then I will come back and officially set up. But let's just see what we're dealing with. I actually thought this was like a watercolor when I first saw it. Neat little color tray. And all these little spongies. Spongies, that's what I'm calling them. Have a matching color. Mm, very neat. Okay. Let's see, they're squishy. And look, that's not a dirty nail. That's egg dye from the previous set. Can't seem to get it out of there. Ah, I get it now. And then here's the color packs. They feel still good from 2003, so we're good there. And then here is the egg supports. All right, that looks like it's going to be a fun set. So when I come back, I will... Have my tabletop clean and ready with a glass top and some paper, and I will decorate these eggs. Well, what eggs? The eggs I bring in. All right, I am just getting the wax paper down. My eggs are rolling everywhere. Let's see how these little handy-dandy egg holders are. There. They give you quite a few, so you have enough to decorate a lot of eggs. I'm kind of doing six for each kit. So this way, I don't run out of eggs. I only have so many. Okay. You are first. All right, so let's drop all those. Let's move them over here, though, so we can still see them. And here's all the colors. So purple first. Need the color. Looks to be nice and soft and ready to go. I'm not going to... Oh, a little bit better cut line than the last time I did a set. Here we go. Purple. These are very rich colors, as you can see. It was the last Dudley's kit that I did that left this permanent uh, color on my fingers. Blue. Here we go. The blue. And the pink, the blue, the pink, the yellow, the green. Here we go. Pretty color. Here, let me see if I can get you a better, closer shot. Let's do this so you can watch the pretty color as it comes out of the pack. Oh, it didn't spill. Ooh, look at that one. There's a little bit of extra stuff. And it looks like I spilled into the next tray. Hmm. Oh, here. Let me clean that up. There we go. There we go. Okay, better. And now the yellow. 
I'll mix this one a little bit more. The other one had that little chunk in it. What was that? Probably just some of the dye. Okay. There, no cross-contamination. It was a little bit on the scissors. I can kind of see it, so it got a little bit of that other color in there. And the last one is the green. Let me wipe my scissors off. Okay, last one. Yeah, so it reminds me just like a little roller paint tray. All right. So let's reset up our little spongies. I like this little kit. Okay. Let's bring in our first egg. And let's just see how the sponges work and how... Everything happens. Let's start with color number one. Doo, doo, doo. Look at that. So yeah, it's like a little roller. Look at that. That's cool. I'll show you better next time. Okay, so that's a nice color. Let me go around the whole egg. I'll do strips all the way around. Okay. Color number one. And I want to do it this way so you can see it better as I roll it on the roller. Just like if you'd use a roller tray, you just kind of get it in there, go up and down a little bit. Okay. Color number two. I'll try to get every color on egg number one. Number three, I can squeeze in two more colors here. It's kind of handy. Okay, one more. And I've got all the colors on this egg. Then I'll maybe try something different on the next egg. All right, egg number one. You go there. Next egg, come on in. Now that I have the purple in my hand, maybe I'll just dot purple on this one. Like sponge painting, I guess you would call that. When I get to the end, I'll show all the eggs like I did the last video. I call that final presentation, that's what I call that. I do that in almost every video. I do like a final presentation thoughts. You know, what I thought. Did I like it? Did I have fun? Did it taste good? Okay, there's egg number two. That gives you kind of two ideas there. Number three. Get back in here. It's sticky. This coloring is very sticky. Let's just do a whole egg in yellow. Okay, and I'm going to hold it till the end. You see what's all over my fingers is all over this egg now. So I think after this one here, I'll stop. I'm going to wash my hands. Get a wet rag over here because it seems like that's what I'm going to need. I want to come back to this egg anyway. I want to get it yellow and then decorate it after it dries. So let me wash and come back. Okay, that one is drying now. Let's see if it dries in time. And then uh, what can I do? Well, here, let's just take a color here that hasn't got a lot of use. And you go back there, yellow. Wash my hands, got some of that stickiness off. I'm just gonna do this. Try not to touch. Okay, you go there. And then let me grab the pink. Let me see. Let me switch to this hand. Find the spot. And now do this. Spots. OK. 
Okay. Get another color on there. Hey, you didn't, you're not rolling. Oh, there you go. You weren't rolling too good, were you? Okay. And, well, let me do the purple. Okay. Happy with that one. A little bit different. Trying to get them all just a little bit different. You go there. All right, look at that. There's four. Now let me take my wet rag. I have a wet rag off to the side. Hmm. What could I do? What could I do? Let's just see if we can... Get some squiggly. No? No. Okay, that's, that's a little different. Instead of rolling, I'm kind of using it as a brush. All right. You get good coverage with it. And then the other side. Here, let's do... I think pink is the color I'm liking the most. Especially next to the purple. I mean, if I just leave it there. You still got to touch it to support it, you know? Okay. How's that? All right. Hand cleaning. Last one. I'm sure all of you would have some good ideas for me. Say, oh, you should have tried that. I wish I was listening to you right now. So let's just do one stripe of each color going down. Yeah, it'll be easier if I grab from the other side of the camera here. here. I feel like I'm stretching too much. Okay, now back to the other color. These videos are getting long. Anytime I do something like this, they do get longer. I know some people don't like long videos, and other people do like long videos, so it's kind of hard to judge. All right. So now, let me let these dry. Let me see. Is this one still... That one's wet. And then I'll come back and maybe add a few more accents to that one, but I think we're pretty close. Okay, all set up. This one is ready to go. So I just wanted to add a few little spots to it, you know, maybe color it up just a little. Before I move it into my collection of eggs, look at look at my collection. And at the end, I think, depending on the last video, I will bring in all of the eggs and all the sets I have done, like I did last year, into one final presentation. All right. I think I'm happy with that. I think it just shows you all the different options you have with a set like this. Imagine if you brought this in with the Spraytastic one. It might be cool to do them all at one time. Here we go. Okay, last egg. You go there. You still have to dry. The rest are already dry, though. I will zoom in. Say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll let you look at them. How's that? That's a cool little set. The it's like little paint rollers for the Dudley's eggs. I would turn them around, but uh, well, let me just do a little bit here. They're kind of the same on all the sides. Some different coloring there. So you do like that one. It all ran down. Look at that. That's pretty cool. 
It might still be a little wet in spots. All right, so tell me, which egg do you like the most? Or do you like them all? Ooh, that's what I didn't want to happen. Do you like the kit? Remember, it's older, so I don't even know if they still make it or you can still get it. I found it somewhere, garage sale or something. I don't remember. But either way, still fun to do, and thanks for watching. If you want to see more Easter videos where I do kinds of kits like Easter kinds, Easter kits like this kind, then there'll be a link in the description. Because I did a bunch last year. I think I did five or six last year. This year, mixing it up a little bit and adding a few other makers in there besides egg kits. So wait for those. And thanks for watching. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh yeah, please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.